Hey, it's Kimberly and welcome back to my channel. I make videos on all things lifestyle on a budget and today is my four month update on my sort of furnished apartment. Let's get into it. Starting with my kitchen, it is compact and uh, I had to make use of the space. I did end up putting a trash can inside even though it does take up some space, but I needed it. And then I got these cute oven mitts um, from Earth Hero and they are dyed with plants, which I think is cool. Then here's my first piece of artwork. I got it off of Rue La La just to help with the space. And here is a compost bin that I've been using. Since the space is very white and black, I wanted to use wood color to kind of help draw out some colorful warmness. These I actually got from TJ Maxx. They're toothbrush holders or things that you use in the bathroom, but I thought it'd be great to use it for my kitchen tools. And then by the sink, I just keep things very simple. I have a plant from Ikea and that's pretty much it. This kitchen is definitely small but mighty. I can do a lot of things in it, but it's perfect for just one person. Now we are back at the door and here's my mirror that I got from H&M Home and through it you can see my Society6 print. I love this mirror, I love the size of it and I really, really, really love these prints that I got. And then over here I actually have a new addition. We've got the moon phases going and a place to hold my mask. Thank you to everyone who voted on where I should put this. In my eyes, the sun fading into the moon. It's kind of like what's going on up here with this guy. And then right off is into my hallway and let's head into the space. So I finally got a dining room table. I saw this style on Wayfair, but the prices were cheaper on Amazon. So back to Amazon we go. I love the color of these chairs. The mustard color just helps to warm up the space, which is exactly what I wanted. Then here are just some table items that I have so far. I got these coasters on World Market and they're really, really cute. I got a free Amazon Echo Dot for signing up for my Verizon for my internet access, which is freaking awesome. If you have one and you need an Amazon Music Unlimited trial, I'll have the information down below. I've been loving it. So here's my current dilemma. I recently got these placemats from World Market and I ordered them online so I didn't realize how thick they were and also how big they were. I'm not in love with this. I love the plates. I love my silverware, which I already had before. I don't love my big dinner plate because I realized that the blue might just, it makes it look a little bit too juvenile. That's the word, it looks very juvenile. So at one point I was gonna get black, but I think that that might be too strong of a contrast if I do keep these. So maybe I should go with a white or a cream color, but yeah, help me out guys. This artwork that I absolutely love from Society6, that's another one of the prints that I got, is going to be up on the wall. So I wanna use these colors maybe to pull out for the placemats a little bit, I'm not sure. Now it's up on the wall and you can see I do have plenty more space that I can continue to decorate and design. And I do have a fourth chair, you'll see it in a little bit. On the opposite side of where my dining room table is, is my entertainment center, if you will. Uh, there's a whole video on how I set up that TV stand, which was wild, and the TV is from Best Buy. I got this from Five Below, actually, and it's really cute. I've had that forever. I got this from Marshalls. I think it's really awesome. And here is another fake plant. I think I got that from Burlington Coat Factory, actually. So this is just a nice little area. So this is actually my very first watercolor. Um, there's a YouTuber named Morena. I followed one of her tutorials. I went with the slowest one that was literally step by step. I didn't love it in the moment, but looking at it now that it's dry, I'm really happy with it. Obviously, it's there's like some parts that aren't like so great, but. I'm just like, wow, I never watercolored, I believe, as an adult, and this was so much fun, and I'm gonna continue doing it. Thank you to Katrina, who recommended. Morena, I literally had so much fun. Yes, I do kind of want to frame it, because it's so cute, but I think it actually looks nice over here as we draw out some purples and stuff like that. And then here are all my frames that I either got the wrong size, or I'm like, maybe later on, adding more artwork, but I have three frames that I still want to use. Then this little guy right here, which, I'm like, all right, they said every four to five days, so we'll see how it goes, but it was kind of fun to put that together, adding in the sand and the seashells. This uh, candle smells really, really, really good. I do need to put that on the wall. It just depends on whenever I do get a couch and all of that, so that's my little TV area. So from here, we move over to my little desk area. If you know, you know did a review on this. So in this little corner, I just house my camera, but then I'll also put that chair over there when I wanna do like a workout or a dance class or something. Here is my desk. It looks just as chaotic as it seems. I'm still debating on if I wanna get a bigger desk or just work with what I have. So I just got my laptop over there. This is my book for YouTube and all my videos and stuff. 
lots of makeup. I love this little erase board for your schedules and things to do. I got that at Burlington Coat Factories. <laughs> I actually got this table on Amazon about two years ago and I love it, it folds up. It was very easy to travel with, but I wonder if I've outgrown the size of it. Here is my lovely mirror from Target. I love everything about it. It's been in a couple videos. I think it was a great purchase. Another awesome thing about this mirror is that you can hang things on it. So when I've moved it into different spots, I can actually use the back of it. Originally when this was gonna be a little getting ready area, I got this carpet and I still love it. It's super soft, again, Amazon. And then I've mentioned this already before, but here's my chest that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond that I really, really love. Then I've got some cute little bobby pins and hair ties, some fake plants galore, you know, mirror, hair stuff, my jump rope, my roller skating uh, adjuster thing. Here's my like stationary drawer. So basically like an extension of what my desk would be and then more like stationary stuff. So I absolutely love this. It just works out so well. I have roller skates. I bought these back in October, wore them once and then didn't. And now I'm actually roller skating literally in my apartment. Got my gear, uh, elbow pads, knee pads, all that. That was from Amazon. I love these skates so far. I love the color, they're super cute. I just put them right here just to encourage myself to be skating every day, so that's not actually always there. Probably gonna be under my bed. Comment down below if you're roller skating too. And then over here, I've got my little plant world section. Here are my little plants. These kits are awesome so far. Yes, I have the directions out. I am a new plant mom and I'm afraid I'm gonna mess things up. This is actually my hair mister, but I've been using it for these leaves. I believe this is a Chinese evergreen that my friend gifted me. I got this from TJ Maxx and it's the perfect size for this little plant. Uh, and, ah! Oh my gosh, I almost dropped that. In theory, it was going to be like, this would be an area where if I wanted to sit and read, I could, and you know, you could put like a little tea or some books. And this is where that fourth chair is, but right now it's housing my backpack. You know, I can unpack, well, it doesn't matter what I do with my backpack, but I have my backpack there. Here is an updated look on this space. So what ended up happening is that I got this three tier stand from Marshall's. I had to replant these plants because they all died. And this is where we're at right now with the sunflower one. I'm really hoping and praying I get it right this time. The other two, which are herbs, are literally showing me no love. Yes, and then if you notice in the other one, I had some dead leaves. I cut them off per an Instagram ad video. <laughs> so now I have of uh, this going on right here. I still have the shelf over here. I haven't decided what I'm doing with that yet. I'm really loving what this little space has come into. Here is my work in progress bed area. I'm working on the wall right now, but I have another painting from Society6. I got this blessed from, I wanna say Marshalls or TJ Maxx. And then I got a couple of other similar prints like the one by my TV stand and these are from Marshalls. I'm gonna keep adding some more here and that'll be a little bit of a, a nice little wall display. This bed is from Nest Bedding. I have a whole video on it. Love it, love it. This is from Home Goods, I believe, and this is my very first purchase, which is so exciting. I'm gonna actually eventually put that on the non-existent couch. This lamp was actually over by my TV and I recently moved it because I think it fits with the scheme in here. So I currently don't have a light over there, but. I changed my bedding. It was driving me nuts how flat my bedding was looking before, so I added a comforter, changed it up, added some more pillows, and I mentally feel so much better. I know that sounds so crazy, but it was just way, way, way too flat. I like that this area is just a little bit darker compared to the rest of my space. Linen sheets are literally the best. I got them from Amazon. I have them from my other bed before I move. I'm obsessed with them. Yes, they are expensive. In this case, I would say that it's worth it. I have a mirror here that I got from H&M recently, as well as this little vase right here, and then I have more of those fake flowers from Amazon, and then this came with me. And then on this side, I have another artwork that I really love from Society6. This is another angle of the space, so it's actually a great little alcove and that definitely sold me on the place. And now seeing how much can actually fit in here, I'm so grateful for this little corner right here. And then these curtains were previously on my windows, but 
I actually realized that it was a little too strong of a design, so I moved them over here to divide off my space into my closets and bathroom. It blocks the light from coming through too much, so when I'm changing or getting ready, I just have this little separate area. So now let's head on in. Instead of trying to make this aesthetically beautiful, I'd rather just show you a place that is lived in, which that is the case. This is another amazing storage closet that I have. Okay, so closet life. I'm not gonna show you too much because it's literally just my closet, but there's plenty of space. I use some space up here for sweats and pants, and then up here is clothes that I need to donate. Nothing crazy to report over here. Just added some fake plants. This is Bed Bath & Beyond. This is Ikea. Got the floss out <laughs> just because because I got this recently from Amazon because I really needed a place to put my clothes because I've got my towels there and stuff. Here's one side of my medicine cabinet, nothing too crazy. There is a method to the madness, which is AM skincare and PM skincare minus this uh, face mask. On this side, got my dental care down here and then other stuff at the top here and some extras for soaps. And then I'm happy I've got some extra storage space if I need down here. Love this shower curtain. I probably talk about it in every single video, but I got that from World Market. Okay, so I would be remiss if I didn't mention the amazingness of this towels. I am not someone that randomly raves about towels, but Holy moly, I did not expect it. So I got this from Target. This is the Casa Luna line. Girl, guy, anyone, everyone. The minute this touched my body, it was luxurious. It is so soft, it is so thin. Thick. It feels amazing. It does not shed, which is something I really hate when I'm putting lotion on. So I don't have a couch right now, but I just wanted to show what type of stuff can fit in this little corner. This is set up for when I have my self tapes, but right now my acting class. So the dining table that you saw over here, I just moved over there and I can, you know, use one of the chairs for class. So I do have a good amount of space. But yeah, so this is the little other side. I'm just gonna show you what it can look like with stuff in that spot. Yeah, so that is pretty much it. We are half furnished. You know, we see some blank spaces still, but they will, you know, eventually have some stuff. Hopefully there'll eventually be a couch there. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.